Hey guys, what's going on? Today I got a very, very special video for you guys. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Nintendo Switch. And as some of you guys already know, as the leader of the Nintendo Switch gang, the founder of the Nintendo Switch gang, this is probably going to be the best Nintendo Switch unboxing on the internet. So, hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so I picked up uh, quite a few things. Um, little things that I picked up I picked up a screen protector um, I picked up a car charger because if you didn't know I work on the road so this is why I'm super interested in the Nintendo switch because it's portable I could take it wherever I want to go so you know you gotta have a car charger so I picked up an official license one by Nintendo I'm not gonna open it up yet but just two little things that I picked up and here we got the Nintendo Switch. My goodness, I'm super, super excited. All right, so hope you guys can see it in the camera well. All right, so let's open up this bad boy, man. Let's take a look at it. This is the first time I'm, you know, actually seeing the Switch in person. So let's take a look at it and see how it looks like. There it is. It's actually very, very small. <laughs> It's actually very small. Look at it. Look how pinched this is. Look, people are always going crazy telling me uh, the Nintendo Switch is a home console. Ray Tay Tay. Bruh, does this look like a home console to you? <laughs> does this honestly look like a home console to you? No. I don't care what Nintendo tells me. This is a handheld. This is not a home console. So here we got, you know, the brains of everything and it has a a pretty nice weight to it here we go it's nice and clean man it actually feels premium you know the build quality is good I hear a lot of reviewers complaining about the stand feeling flimsy I can see why they say that it's it looks like it could pop off any second <laughs> and your SD card goes in here so I guess that's an interesting place to put it but yeah man the build quality is pretty good and it's actually smaller than I thought. How people be talking, you would think this thing is huge. You know, your game um goes in here. You know, we got our headphone jack, the vent. We got our power button over here. We got the volume buttons. And you got your charger at the bottom. All right, so let's take a look at the Joy-Cons. If you will come out, there we go. No, they super small though. <laughs> they actually really, really small. Here we have the Joy Cons. You guys could take a look. Let me pop them out and actually feel them. They don't. I thought they would be heavier. To be honest, I thought they would be a little bit heavier. You know, it doesn't feel cheap, but it doesn't feel like super premium either, you know? But they feel they feel decent, I guess. And apparently you could play it like this too, which, you know, obviously doesn't <laughs> feel very com look comfortable. And I can tell you it doesn't really feel that comfortable if you're going to be playing it like this. You know, but it's an option. How can I knock it for having options? So, you know what I'm saying? I most likely won't ever use my Nintendo Switch like this. You know what I'm saying? But I guess it's the option for the people. Um, the option is there for people who want to use it like this. So, whatever. So, here we go. It's pretty cool. Let me snap them in and see how it feels. Um, so, this one goes here, I believe. And this one goes right here like this. Yeah, when you add the joy con to it, this shit is long, yo. This shit is huge, man. But it looks cool, man. It's such an interesting device, yo. This shit looks badass. Crazy. Yeah, I could dig it, man. I could dig it. I could actually dig this. This is actually pretty fly. This is pretty fly. Alright, so let's see what else comes with the Nintendo Switch. Um... Throw this to the side. We got an HDMI cable. 
Uh, we got your wall charger. And we got the Joy-Con grips. You know, I actually got to feel how this feels with the Joy-Cons on because everyone out, I get mixed. People tell me it's like, it's dope. Some people tell me it's actually usable. Then I hear other people is telling me that it's not very usable. It's not very comfortable. So I got to see for myself. And here we got the, you only gave me one, bro. Oh, one's over here. Here we got the, what's it called? The Joy-Con grips. I think that's what they call it. It feel good. Feels solid built, quality is good. All right, so let's actually test um, the Joy-Con grip. So I believe how you pop it off is you have to hit the button, you know? Okay, let me not drop this thing on the first day or I'm gonna be cheese. <laughs> Yo, how you pop this shit off, bro? Ah, yeah, okay, there we go. We got one off. And if I can get this one off, all right, and we got that one off. All right, so I'm gonna slide it into the grips and see how this feels. Let's see if it's actually playable, cause I know BG be complaining. Ah, I don't come with a proper controller. <laughs> so, okay, how does this feel? Uh, uh, yeah, it kind of feels like ass. I can't even lie. <laughs> Yeah, this actually feels like ass. I can't even lie. It's gonna take some time getting used to it. You know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, it's just not very ergonomic. It's not very comfortable, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's playable, but it's not ideal. You know what I'm saying? It's not really ideal. Everything's kind of close together. Yeah, I, I don't know how how I'm feeling about this Joy-Con grips. I'm gonna have to put it into practice before you know. I get back to y'all on that, how this feels, but definitely feels um, not very comfortable like this. Definitely usable, but not very comfortable at all. I guess the best bet if you want to play on um, on a TV, um, the best bet is to get the Pro Controller, which is extremely expensive. <laughs> Pro Controller here in Canada costs $89, plus our 13% tax, that's crazy. All right, so there you have it. That's the Joy-Con grips. Let's put it back on the unit real quick. This is how I plan to use my Switch, you know, 80% of the time. You know what I'm saying? This is how I plan to use the Switch, <laughs> like 100% of the time, like 80% of the time, you know what I'm saying? I just want to be able to take it to work, you know, max out and play like this. This is not that bad, you know? I can dig it. All right, let's see what else is in the box. We've got... You know your typical papers which nobody reads and we got the docking station so this is the thing that transfer I mean transforms the Nintendo switch into a console and there you have it right here you know it feels plasticky it feels cheap nothing really fancy because the reality is the switch is really a handheld <laughs> Nintendo be lying to y'all it's really a handheld yeah this is your console mode I guess when you pop it in this alright so let's move these boxes out the way and let's slide it in and see how it looks there you have it alright so that's the Nintendo Switch, guys, man. Honestly, it looks super cool when it's in handheld mode. This this is definitely my handheld to you to be using. You know what I'm saying? This shit looks super cool like this. I can dig it. It's definitely big. It's definitely not pocketable. But, you know, honestly, if you're really going now to work or something, like, who doesn't go to work with, like, a bag or something? You know what I'm saying? So, that's not really an issue for me because I got a carrying case. I'm going to use it. So, yeah. So let's unbox, you know, this master edition of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Cause to be honest, this this game <laughs> sold everyone on the Switch day one. All day, all day one buyers are you are buying the fucking Switch just to play Zelda. You know what I'm saying? We just keeping it hunted. Because besides Zelda, the launch lineup is whack. You know what I'm saying? 
So let's take a look inside Zelda, the Master Edition. Oh, it's one big ass box here. Hopefully my camera gets it in. That's how it looks like. I wasn't lucky. I got a little damaged one, but what can you do? UPS man don't give a fuck. They probably toss this shit around like nothing, yo. All right, so pop this open. And let's see what comes inside. I was gonna resell this shit, but after, you know, seeing the reviews of Zelda, I'm like, nah, fam, I'm keeping this, yo. Yeah. So let's see what's inside. We got the map of Hyrule right here. I'm not even gonna open it up. I'm gonna preserve it. We got this weird little coin thing, whatever it's supposed to be. I wonder what it like, what it means in the game. So I, I have no idea. And we actually got the game case right here. And I actually really, really like the game case. I really like Nintendo Switch game case. It's nice and small. Um, I was saying this before on Twitter. It does remind me of the PSP cases, but it's even it seems like it's even thinner than PSP cases. You know what I'm saying? It looks really good. I'm liking the style. I'm liking the, you know, the little red trim. It's pretty fly. I can't even lie. And the Master Edition comes with the soundtrack of the game. And you already know this game's gonna have a crazy, crazy score. So I don't even know if I'm, I want to open this. I might have to just download this shit on YouTube or some shit, but hey, I bought it, so I'm just gonna download this shit on YouTube because I want to preserve this shit. Yeah, dope. All right, so let's take a look at this statue thing. Oh, I forgot it comes with a carrying case too. This is what I'm actually gonna be using. This, I'm gonna be opening this up comes with this carrying case and it's actually solid in the pictures it looked like it was like a flimsy case you know but it's actually pretty damn solid so that's pretty cool so we got that right here now let's take a look at the statue because this is what you know man's paid all that money for let's see the build quality of the statue There we go. Oh, they taped it up. Let me cut it. Apparently, the master editions were really hard to find. Hey, I, I pre ordered it day one as soon as the Switch got announced. So, wow, it actually has some weight to it. It actually really does have some weight to it. I'm not really much of a, you know, collector's edition type of dude, but I had to get this one. Look at this. It's actually pretty nice. I'm surprised how heavy it is. I thought it was going to be a little bit cheaper, but there's a, it's actually pretty damn heavy. And there you have it. Pretty cool. I'm probably going to put it, you know, up on my shelf over there with my Nathan Drake statue. So, there you have it, people. This is the unboxing of um, the Nintendo Switch and um, Zelda um, the Master Edition. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm going uh, <laughs> to dive into this shit because I'm so excited to play this game. I know this game is going to be something special. Um, it's the second highest reviewed game in history, so that's crazy. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm ready, man, guys. I'm ready. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll check you guys out later. Take it easy.